Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, girl, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? You never be afraid to come through the building. And when you do, you already know you want to hit that bell. So you can be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, girl, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. If you would like to make a little love offer to this channel, you already know what it is, dftarot at Cash App or PayPal. If you would like to, check us out on Patreon. We got a little dark feminine membership going on over there. Also, I did put together a little mini protection manual for y'all. Okay, anybody that just wants to, you know, hear about how you can kind of do some protection work in these wild karmic times we are in right now where there are so many karmic energies being brought to their downfall. Go ahead, check that out. It is for sale over on Patreon. It's just a little mini mini for a little $9.99 or you can go ahead and just get the membership for $8.88. I welcome you. Come join us, okay? Also, if you would like to just follow me, girl, and make friends with me over on Facebook, girl, okay, we back. Back and back. I'm over there. Yes, we did a little couple of days break in and, and we still on their head. Okay, go ahead and send me a friend request. The link is in the bio section below this video. Y'all, we're about to go ahead and get into it and see where spirit leads us, spirit seeking clarity, what kind of energy is out in the collective on today. Okay. Who's out there? Who goes there? We see solitude. We see skull. We see the soul. Um, so we're basically seeing hermit energy, y'all. We're seeing hermit energy with death card energy. Okay. With the soul. Mm. Okay, y'all. This is this is okay. Somebody's in a deep and pensive energy. Okay. A deep and pensive energy right now how was going on okay we got book we got cauldron we got the future there's something prophetic going on somebody is seeing something somebody is seeing something coming somebody is seeing something hmm something is coming somebody is seeing something on the horizon okay this is a prophetic energy what's going on y'all this is a prophetic energy We see Dow, we see Eel, we see Wayne, y'all. Hmm. This is a karmic with some kind of Leviathan energy. This is a karmic with some type of marine energy. Now, where is that coming from? Apple, elixir, vision. Again, we're seeing this prophetic energy. Somebody, you got a feeling. First of all, you need to trust your intuition because your intuition is hellified. This is a very spiritual energy. Somebody is extremely spiritual. You have a very spiritual energy, witchy, prophetic. You have a feeling and a vibe about people. Somebody's intuition is just bubbling, bubbling, bubbling about somebody's energy. Somebody's energy is just, it's like your bells and whistles are going off. Somebody is getting a feeling. Somebody is seeing a vision. Somebody is seeing something coming. Somebody is seeing something come down the pipeline. Okay. Um, period. You have a very strong energy, sis. Somebody needs to really realize how deep and how strong your energy is. Something is pulling at you. You're receiving a message about someone. Okay. A karmic that is in full on leviathan energy okay period y'all we finna go ahead and explore this because that's deep and it has something to do y'all somebody in the collective you are very powerful and don't let nobody tell you no different and you are silently powerful that's why we come out the gate with solitude that hermit energy somebody is quietly the power in the room dark feminine energy transformational energy somebody is quietly the one when you talk they need to be listening okay you are the one giving the energy, giving the tea. You are the one with the power, period. I don't know if you're the one with the power in your family. Can't tell you exactly where this is coming from, okay? We see that's two of cups energy, four of pentacles energy. 
I told y'all we was going to read with the Uno deck one of these days. I said, why shouldn't today be today? Five of Wands energy. Okay. Ace of Pentacles energy. Y'all. Hmm. It's something going on romantically. It's something going on romantically. Somebody is being very possessive. They want to fight. They want to cause confusion. And it's like you're seeing it. Somebody is seeing it. You're just watching it like this is this is a mess. Okay, you're watching it. And this person is coming in trying to... Pop. Do y'all hear them sirens? What did I say? This person is coming in and we start hearing sirens. This person is coming in trying to partner themselves with a the divine feminine, the ace of pentacles energy. Somebody is trying to just stick themselves on to glue themselves on to an ace of pentacles energy. Okay. This is that karmic energy, y'all. Baby, this is that karmic energy coming through. They coming through. First of all, whoever you are in the collective, you're having this feeling about this person. You are not wrong. Just looking at we didn't pull four. We didn't pull some type of version of four, four times. We've also pulled five twice so far. This energy is trying to come in and surround the collective. Somebody has got somebody that's trying to. We also saw that four of pentacles energy. This person is very possessive and they're trying to surround you on all four sides. Okay, four, four, four. They're trying to come in and create a strong force, a strong hold, a powerful energy around you. Okay, they're trying to create a total change in your life. Things will be done differently. We're going to pull four more cards. Things will be done differently. Okay, for that plus four, we're going to pull four more cards, y'all. They're trying to create a situation where things in your life are just done very differently. Somebody is trying to shift you, change you. But the thing of it is, girl, they don't have good intentions. Okay? This person's intentions are not right. Not at all. This person is in full. They on some full on BS. Notice we pull five again. We pull five again. This person ain't right. This person is not right. And they're trying to surround you. They're trying to bring confusion and change and transition you very swiftly. It is either you collective that this person is doing this to and you're watching this person try to do it. For some of y'all, y'all are watching something try to be done to someone else. Somebody, you recognize the hell out of karmic energy, okay? Your ability to see the unseen is uncanny. Six of pentacles energy, five of pentacles energy. This person is coming through. They are bringing so much bullshit, five of pentacles. They're coming in like locust. You see the energy coming in though. Like somebody, I'm telling you, you're prophetic. You see the energy coming in. You see this, this serpentine energy on this person coming from a mile away. You don't even need to hear nothing else on it. That's just on period. You like, I see you. I see you for what it is. Nobody is really fooling you in this situation, y'all. You're not being fooled in any way, shape, or form. That's just what it is. Hmm. King of Swords energy, y'all. With the Seven of Wands. This is a masculine energy. He might be high in Aquarius and another five, y'all. Five of Swords. He might be high in Aquarius energy. He's in optical betrayal. It's all types of mess with this person. He might be high in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini energy. Y'all, he's bringing all types of confusion with him. All types of confusion. And somebody, I'm telling you, you see him coming. The message that I'm getting to you first and foremost is that you really want to make sure that you're not falling for this. Do not fall for this. Four source energy. This person is coming in to cause confusion. And then they're going to start falling back. It's gaslighting. It's like they're trying to act like they're not doing what they're doing. And you're looking right at them. Somebody is trying to challenge your divine vision. Somebody is trying to make you see that what you see ain't what you see. Somebody is gaslighting and you peep them. You got a good third eye. You ain't no fool. You peep them and they're trying to make it seem like what you see ain't what you see. You see them clear as day. Eight of pentacles energy. You see them working. You see them doing demonic workers in the background playing games. You see this. You're not confused. 
And somebody trying to give you this vibe like you're confused. There's nothing in you that's confused, y'all. That, that's not that's not what it is. That's not how it go. Period. This person is trying to cause disruption and disturbance for you, okay? They're trying to cause all types of confusion for you. Um, and it's not worth it. This person is trying to create some type of distance, some type of confusion in your life, y'all. And what I just say about distance and confusion, y'all, folks want to call every five seconds. This person is trying to cause confusion. They're trying to cause you to kind of overlook what you know. Skip energy. Overlook what you know. But you know what you know. It's not, this isn't that. Six of Cups energy, okay? This person is trying to come in and give you, just kind of give you the impression they're a good person. They may be someone from your past or they're trying to draw on energy from your past. Six of Pentacles, they want you to see them as charitable. They want you to see them as good, okay? They want you to fall in love with them. Two of Cups energy, Five of Cups energy, Two of Cups energy once again, okay? This person, y'all, we finna clarify these Two of Cups, y'all. We, we, we doing it with these Uno cards. I told y'all it was coming. Um, This person, they're trying to get you to kind of mourn. Feel like you would mourn them if they weren't there. Clarify the Two of Cups spirit. They want you to mourn them. Feel like if, if they're not there, you would be sorry. You would be sad. You would be broke down. That's how they want you to feel, okay? We're going to clarify this two of cups with two cards. Skip coming through again, y'all. Mm-mm. This person is going to betray you. They're, they're trying to betray you. That's what they are. It's a serpent-like energy that came out from the, from the top, y'all. Mm-mm. The thing about this person that's so significant is that they're trying to make you think you don't see what you saw, okay? You do, okay? We got this two of pentacles energy coming through here with the eight of pentacles. You're not wrong. This person is imbalanced. This person is confused, and they're looking for someone that will work hard for them, okay? That's what they're looking for. That's what they're all about. This person is a user. They're underfoot. They're a heel, Okay, they are a heel through and through. It is nothing more to know. Okay, and they'll try to make you think there's something more to know. There's not. Baby, reverse that energy on them. So the energy you want to send back towards this person. Ace of Wands and Three of Wands. You want to send back this person beginnings and future. There will be no beginnings. There will be no future with this person. Whoever this is is trying to hang around you. Reverse this. Okay? Reverse this. Because what you will do is, these are the two things you will stunt for them. This is almost like a curse energy. I'm telling y'all the truth. This reversal then came through here. I'm telling y'all the truth. Reverse this on them. By that, I just mean simply return to sender. If you return to sender, this person will have no new beginnings and no future with anybody because what they were trying to do is steal yours. This person was trying to steal your ability to be in a new beginning. This person was trying to steal your ability to move forward in a new future. This person was trying to claim those two things in your life for themselves. And they know damn well you see them through and through. You looking right at them. You see that they ain't no good. But this person, I'm telling you, they felt this karmic masculine who could potentially be high in Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, air sign energy. He good with his conversation. OK, this person has been trying to gaslight you. Spirit wants you to know you are extremely high in prophetic, intuitive energy. When you think you see some demonic activity going on, you're not wrong. Um, period. You're not wrong. So don't let this person do this to you. Somebody was trying to really slip in by making it seem like, oh, I'm, you know, it ain't that. It's not this. It's cool. It's what you talking about. Uh-uh. This person is exactly the snake that you thought they were, okay? And when you simply say to them, return to sender, send them back that little karmic return to sender, okay? This person is going to lose their new beginnings. This person is going to lose their future plans, okay? We're going to see what they are, child. What's karma going to go back to this person? But do not feel bad because this person was trying to take these things from you. This is a basic return to sender. The minute you remove your energy and say return to sender to this person, you're going to be shocked to watch they shit fall apart, okay? And there'll be one to swear, that it don't have nothing to do with the mess that they was trying to pull over there with you. But yes, it does. Three of Cups in the reverse, okay? Two of Pentacles in the upright. 
This person is going to start experiencing some issues with their ability to go out and socialize. Now understand, there's a lot of air sign energy on or around this person or they may flat out be an air sign. For them, I'm going to tell y'all, if they can't go out and socialize, it's, it's, just, it's just damning for them. Ain't nobody that can't stand, oh my God, I'm cooped up, I'm not able to socialize, like an air sign energy. Okay, this person's ability to go out and socialize, meet new people and all the little mess they like to do, these little karmic meetings they like to have is going to be disturbed and disrupted and taken from them. Their finances are going to be disturbed. Potentially their savings. Something is going to come in that's going to bleed them of their savings. Okay, the magician comes through in the upright with the ace of swords in the reverse. Okay, this person was trying to play some little tricks on someone else. They were trying to tell them some lies. These lies are going to be reversed and come back to them as well. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups in the reverse. They also may start having a problem with their children or the mothers of their children. See, let me tell you something. When you send this reversal back, it's going to reverse on multiple people. Remember, this was, I mean, what they were trying to do to multiple people. It's going to reverse on them. Remember, you have a very powerful spiritual energy, okay? A very powerful spiritual energy that is on you that this person was trying to steal and use for themselves and talk you out of and re- arranged so that everything you do suddenly is about them we don't do that but that's what they was trying to do y'all that's what they was trying to be about somebody wants to harness your energy and because of your power the minute that you simply say i'm letting it go return to sender i'm telling you a lot of people are gonna get their justice not just not just you okay what i just tell y'all the world the nine of wands this is something that's going to kind of come full circle, okay, for this person. And it will represent a rebirth for you because what you don't understand is that this person was siphoning your energy. And remember something about these marine energies, these Leviathan energies. They are beastly energies that nobody can control and nobody has any authority over, period, except the most high and those that walk with the most high. So this energy has been very high ranking in demonic energy and has been out here trying, been able to cut the food, okay, on everybody but the collective and he just tried it so this rebirth that comes through for you means a loss of control for him okay which means again we see karmic endings for this person okay they're about to walk into their karma they're about to walk into all types of closure okay and i'm going to tell you more than anything what they did that created this issue more than anything else that they did and they didn't did some shit okay but more than anything else they did as it relates to you in particular they tried to make you think that you was crazy. This person tried to make an officer in the spirit realm, an actual hierophant, because that's what I'm getting, so that's what I'm going to say, an actual hierophant energy. This person tried to make you think that you was crazy. That's what they're paying for. This person's basically, they spit on divine energy. They actually tried to manipulate and gaslight the eye of the most high, okay? Because any gift that we have, we know that we got from the most high. It ain't ours. They actually tried to manipulate that. That's what they're paying for. It's not about you. All you're doing is walking away and shaking the dust from your feet. That's all you're doing. Okay, it's getting out the way. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Cups in the reverse, and the Devil in the, the Three of Cups in the upright and the Devil in reverse. Let me tell you something. This person was coming to siphon your divine energy, and they were going to celebrate siphoning it. But what happened was you just set their little dumb ass free and stepped into your queen energy. You yourself may be high in Sagittarius, Leo, or Capricorn. This is going to leave, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, well, I don't know why I said that, so Capricorn maybe, but Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries for sure, possibly Capricorn, okay? When we see this here, Ten of Wands in the upright, with the Two of Cups in reverse, what your, what your prophetic gift did, what your vision did, was it created a barrier for this person to get into partnership with you and siphon your energy. It created a barrier, okay? Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Period. And you stood and stepped back in your divine energy. And spiritually, you completely defended yourself. But understand that you were defended by your divine gift that comes from the Most High. Your ability to just look right at this situation early on and have divine wisdom and be like, you know what? This looked like some BS. You saw right out the gate what this man was trying to do. And what he was trying to do, this karmic masculine energy was, we saw basically created fortress around you. A stronghold, a 444, baby. 
stronghold, but in a negative way. He was trying to bring you that negative karmic energy, okay? Where he was going to create stability and security for himself at your expense by being possessive and walling you in and gaslighting you and make you think he's not doing what you see him doing and make you think that he is not standing in the dark energy that you literally saw coming down the pipe. Like, I see this. Somebody's eye, if your prophetic eye is so keen, it's just sickening. Like, when you say it, it's so. And because you quiet with it, you're not out here trying to manipulate nobody yourself because you're light energy. It's so many people around you that seek you for counsel. Yes, because you're in hierophant energy. But it's so many people that sleep on your gift. I'm talking about sleep. Okay? Period. Okay? Sleep on you. They finna have to say, wake up, wake up, okay? They not realizing that who they are with truly is somebody that walks in divine knowledge and wisdom. Somebody spends a lot of time with their Bible. If you spend a lot of time with any spiritual book, you spend a lot of time with spiritual music, you spend a lot of time in divine energy, period. Whatever that may be for you, whatever your tools are, you spend a lot of time with that. And you've consistently filled yourself with wisdom. Some of y'all, the, the mantle of wisdom is just in your family, divine wisdom, okay? And this person literally got scalded trying to get in your mess and they are being forced back out into dark stormy waters karmic waters and remember we did that reading not too long ago y'all okay where i talked about karmic waters it might be like 10 reading 10 12 readings back at this point but where i talked about karmic waters and how many divine energies are allowing themselves to slip and fall into these karmic waters because they lose in their faith this that don't have nothing to do with you baby you stand tall in your faith and you knew like something ain't right, okay? And once you got removed, no, this person is finna get theirs. And you're gonna see it. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea Girl, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to hit that bell. If you wanna be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you are still here, girl, go ahead and put 444 in the comment section. And we doing a put divine 444 in the comment section because this energy show tried to give us some karmic 444 energy. No, baby, divine 444 over here, okay? Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, DF Tarot T at Cash App or PayPal, get your girl a little slice of cheddar cheese or something like that. And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.